goes to the Samoan Country Blues. This song probably could be about a hundred years old now, but it was recorded in 1936 by Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson? Robert Johnson. Um, I probably got exposed to it when Clapton came about and did his unplugged album. So, it's called Walking Blues. Woo! Oh, I'm on, I better get this mic right. Here we go. Yeah, where are we? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's mine, yep. Um, Aki, Aki. I haven't touched it yet, take it.
but it's probably older than that because they all pass songs on to each other. Could even been written by a guy named Sunday. Um, next one I'm gonna do, you might know, Muddy Waters. <coughs> I'm just uh, wondering, since uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, are you going to sing anything for your wife again? Well, <laughs> funny you should say that. This one goes out to everybody who's uh, you know single and doesn't like Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> <laughs> All right, this needs to be a sharp. We're almost there. Well, that is a funny as. Question. I was going to enter with that, Brad, but I kind of forgot, so thanks for bringing that back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the next song I'm going to do is by a guy named Freddie McDowell and, uh, and a guy named uh, Reverend Gary Davis. Don't know if the song, um, when it was recorded, but I guess it was kind of a, a little bit of a gospel blues standard for a while. It's called You Gotta Move. 
is also based on the same. So, funny thing about the blues, all songs are kind of based on a similar pattern. You could probably modify this slightly by a note or two, and you'd have "Come On to My Kitchen" from Robert Johnson. So, <laughs> different key. I'll give it a try. You gotta move.